In this video, I'll be showing you how to utilize the Adam Bashford 2 method or AB2 method in solving ODEs. Here, we're given our ODE to solve our initial value where it says that at an x of 0, y is equals to 1. And our step size here where h is equals to 0 0.25, which means that the changes of x will happen per 0 0.25 units. So 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5 and so on. So let's say we have a reactor and we want to analyze the concentration at certain um, uh, distances. So the distances that will be used is 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and so on. And the range of x, or let's say the range of the distance, is from 0 to 1. So you want to first start off by making this table here. And we can write this as our first iteration. And xi will be 0 at first. And when xi is 0, y is equals to 1, right? We put that there. And in here, we just have to uh, use this function and replace the x and y values with the x and y values here. What I mean is 1 plus 2 times x here, and then multiply it by the square root, square root of y here. So having done that, we then just multiply this here with h, where h is our step size, right? So it's going to be 1 times h. And you should dollar sign this because it's going to be constant. The step sizes do not change. Do that. And we go to our second iteration. And second iteration, xi is just 0 plus this here, right? Because the changes of x happen per 0 0.25 units. We dollar sign this because it remains constant. And in here, it gets a bit tricky. But basically, this is our formula here to use the AB2 um, method. But the problem here is that we need here, we need a current yi value and we need a yi value beforehand. And if you look at our table, we just have a, we're trying to find uh, what basically we only have the yi value beforehand and we don't have this yet, right? Because when you have one value. So in this case, we cannot use the AB2 method yet. And for the first row or the second row of iterations, we have to use another method. And in this case, I'm going to be using the Euler method, which I've shown in my previous video, but it doesn't matter. You just have to follow what I'm doing here. And so basically we just do this. So we just have the first one, the first YI here, plus this. So that's all you have to do for the second line of iterations. And for these things here, whoops, we just drag both of these down. Now for the third line, this is when we can start to use the um, Adam Bashford formula. So as you can see here, this formula, we need a yi value before a current yi value to find the new yi value. And we have that, right? Because we have this, which is yi, and this here, which is yi minus 1, or the previous yi value. And we just... Uh, well, we have both of these, so we can just use the formula now. And so we do yi here, right? yi plus. And as you can see here, it's just h times fy, right? h times f, all that. So we just have to um, use these units here, because as you can see, it's already multiplied by h. So that's why I do it like this. So it's going to be 3 over 2 um, multiplied by our current yi, fyi, right, and then minus uh, one half times our previous yi here. We do that and we get this value here and all we have to do is just drag this down and for uh, iterations four uh, we just have to drag the whole thing down here so we do this and for, well, we have to make it till one. So we do one iteration, and eventually we get the value of y at the ranges from zero to one. So that's how you use the AB2 method. And if you wanna check this out, you can just, um, uh, if you wanna see if, the, if uh, this was correct, basically, you can just graph it out and see if it looks correct. And so we have our x values here as our x values and our y values here here as our y values and if you graph this it looks um, correct and what I mean is the trend is steady and it's just going up 
So that's it for the video. Thank you.